Okay, YouTube, got the 4S battery back together. You can see I'm running packs 1, 5, 6, and 8 now. So overnight I discharged pack 1 out of the original 4S battery. Took about 6 hours last night, put it back in this morning, and hooked up all the cables. Got the balance cables running there. There's the uh, battery voltage. We're only getting about, well, right now we're getting one amp. It's rather cloudy today. So one and four, there's still a big difference between the two ends. But yeah, anyway, we're coming up there. So I'm just, I turned off my DC loads today. So we get full charging. It's supposed to clear up oh, 12 noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. And hopefully we'll get a full charge on this one. So going forward, I'll be building this second 4S pack out of the used cells. And then I've got five 4S packs I can build out of the BAK cells that I tested this summer. And while I'm building those five, I'll be testing more used laptop cells. And once I get enough of those built, I can build another 10 modules of used cells. And out of that, I can build another three used cell batteries, which will give me two and a half kilowatt hours of used cells and about two and a half kilowatt hours of new cells. One of my next things I need to do is figure out a connection scheme for multiple batteries. So what I'm thinking of doing is sticking with these XT60 connectors and maybe putting either two or four batteries into a bus with with XT60 connectors. So I'll have like a plus and minus bus bar, maybe four XT60 connectors, and then have one heavy gauge cable, like a number two, two gauge cable feeding back to the charge controller. That way I can unplug a battery and take it out of service without having to do anything major. So this is 10 gauge wire and then this is 12 gauge that I have for all of the interconnects. Maybe put four of these together and put one BMS for four groups rather than having a BMS per battery maybe put two or four of them together and then put a BMS on. Yeah, that, that's my next thing that I got to work on is how to work with more than one battery because I've only had one to work with. So once I get the second battery, then I can figure out some sort of uh, connector arrangement. So far, we're, yeah, we're up to 1.8 amps. We can swing over here and take a look at the charge controller display. So what do we have there? We have... Uh, to 14.6 and 1.8 amps of charging. Still very, very overcast today. I think what I might do, since I have a little bit of time now, I wanted to get this one turned around really quick so I could get this battery back on the charger and get it charged up and then get it back to working again. But now I have my packs number three and four that came out of the original 4S battery so those two modules or groups of cells have been cycling now for five months and what I might try to do is do a capacity test on each of those two groups and see how they've uh, fared. So that'll be the next thing to do is I think I'll do a capacity test on the two cells that came out of this battery. So I'll report those findings. I think yeah, it'll probably take me a couple of days to do the capacity test because I do that at 3 amps. I did the uh, bottom balance discharge at 5 amps just to speed things up a little bit, but I'll do the I'll do the capacity testing exactly the same. So 3 amps on the charge, 3 amps on the discharge. See what we had before, see what we have after and see what if there's been any degradation on these after 5 months. So that's probably been close to 150 charge discharge cycles. It's been uh, two months on the solar charge controller and then I had about three months on the eye charger with this battery running the eye charger in my power shelf. So there I was doing not quite daily charge discharge cycles but pretty close anyway. So yeah, I gotta let this guy charge. We're yeah, 1.4 amps right now. Yeah, we're about 10% according to this. This is 
pretty close. The lithium ion setting is for 4.1 volts per cell, so it's a little bit off at 4 volts, but it's it's reasonable. But anyway, I got to let this guy charge up today. Hopefully, we can put it back online and get get it cycling again probably tomorrow. I'll update you when I get a chance to test the packs 3 and 4 that I took out of this battery and we'll check that out so stay tuned for those videos I'll put any updates over here on the left side and if you have any comments post up in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching